Good morning students. In this video, I will tell you the next uh, part of the component do and divided do in which you have to show the using component do and divided do. This exercise taken from the ICSC Understanding Mathematics by M. L. Agrawal, Arya Publication. Exercise 7.3. Question number 15. If x is equal to under root a square plus b square plus under root a square minus b square whole upon under root a square plus b square minus a square minus b square prove that b square is equal to 2a square x upon x square plus 1 this you have to show in the previous video i have told you about everything the of the component do and dividend do means properties how to show the questions also i did i explained in the previous video you can see this is the concluding part of the ratio and proportion concluding part means thereafter there will be no video on this topic that is ratio and proportion so how to show this one in this if you take the proof you can write the question i am starting from here that is the proof you will write the proof and again you will write the same thing but there is no denominator in the left hand side to write as the one x upon one and apply component to dividend to in short you can write component to and dividend to so it will be x plus one upon x minus one is equal to under root a square plus b square the numerator you will write then plus denominator a square plus b square minus a square minus b square whole upon the numerator a square plus b square plus a square minus b square and then write the denominator but with opposite sign this sign is plus this is the sign plus and the sign of this is minus change the sign minus under root a square plus b square not inside the under root sirf under root ke bahar upon under root a minus b square now you can cancel this this part cancel in numerator and this part is cancel in the denominator so you will have x plus 1 upon x minus 1 2 under root a square plus b square 2 times upon 2 times a square minus b square can you 2 to cancel here x plus 1 upon x minus 1 under root a square plus b square first of all you can room, uh, cancel this under root but how by taking the square both the sides so you can write down how to cancel by taking a square <clears throat> if you take a square or a square root or cube cube root then you have to take in both the sides of the equation not in one side only so taking a square both the sides so you will have x plus 1 square upon x minus 1 square is equal to a square plus b square upon a square minus b square because after taking a square this under root will be cancelled now this part if you open 
if you will because you will open the expand a plus b whole square formula a minus b whole square formula and when you multiply you can get the answer but it will be very lengthy be, therefore you apply one more time component do and division do after expanding ye yeah, pehle bhi lag sakte hain koi dikkat nahi apply again component do and divided do so what do you will get x plus 1 whole square plus x minus 1 whole square why this i will explain you and minus cos x minus 1 whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus a square minus b square upon a square plus b square minus a square plus b square you expand this one okay, without expansion aayega bhi nahi to you expand this one what you will get x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x square minus 2x plus 1 whole upon x square plus 2x plus 1 because this minus sign will change because the same terms are there so this minus sign will change all the sign of these three terms plus 2x and minus 1 is equal to this b square cancel a square cancel 2a square upon 2b square 2 and 2 cancel here 2x minus 2x x square minus x square plus 1 minus 1 so you have here 2x square and plus 2 matlab 2 common le sakte hain upon 2x plus 2x that is 4x is equal to a square upon b square now it is 2 to the 4 now do the cross multiplication and if you are not doing suppose you are not applying the component to dividend to here means after this you will expand this one you will expand this one cross multiplication and then to prove that part it will be difficult so you apply the component to dividend to such type of question in which you have the uniformity in numerator and denominator so it will be x square plus 1 upon 2x is equal to a square upon b square now do the cross multiplication so b square upon x into x square plus 1 is equal to 2a square x just divide by this means take this in right hand side you will have the answer yes so this is the easiest way for showing the question using component do and dividend the next one here question number 16 17 and 18 these three questions are of same type but i will tell you the 17th question of this x cube plus 12x square 12x upon 6x square plus 8 is equal to y cube plus 27y upon 9y square plus 27 find the ratio using component and dividend of find the x upon y means ratio using component and dividend of not by this and if you multiply cross multiply that will be very difficult to find the x upon y therefore better you use the component do and division do so apply solution mein apply component do and division do when you apply what you will get 12x 6x square plus 8 whole upon x cube plus 12x change the sign of these two minus 6x square minus 8 similarly y cube plus 27y 
प्लस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन होल अपॉन वाई क्यूब चेंज द साइन ऑफ दिस टू माइनस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन इफ यू सी अगर गौर से देखिए इफ यू सी आई थिंक दैट इज देर एनी फॉर्मूला दैट यू कैन गेस बिकॉज इट इज क्यूब इट इज क्यूब इट इज क्यूब दिस इज ऑल्सो द क्यूब ऑफ टू दिस इज ऑल्सो द क्यूब ऑफ थ्री सो कैन यू गेस द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब आर ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब डू यू नो यस ए क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बी प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर ए एंड प्लस बी क्यूब एंड इन दिस ए क्यूब प्लस माइनस थ्री ए स्क्वायर बी प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर ए एंड माइनस बी क्यूब दीज टू आर द फॉर्मूले ऑफ द ए प्लस बी होल क्यूब एंड ए माइनस बी होल क्यूब अब यदि ये फॉर्मूला है तो हाउ विल यू अप्लाई इन मीन्स वॉट यू विल से अबाउट दीज फोर टर्म्स क्योंकि इसमें भी देखो फोर टर्म्स आ रहे हैं सो इफ यू लेट ए इज इक्वल टू एक्स एंड बी इज इक्वल टू बिकॉज इट इज क्यूब एट इज द क्यूब ऑफ टू तो बी इज इक्वल टू टू एंड ऑल आर प्लस साइन सो यू कैन गेस द एक्स इट मे बी द एक्स प्लस टू होल क्यूब एंड यू कैन चेक ऑल्सो इसमें रखें x यहां टू एंड देन चेक हेयर वेदर यू विल गेट सेम और नॉट यू विल गेट सेम क्लियर सिमिलरली हेयर द टू माइनस साइन एंड इन दिस एक्सपेंशन ऑल्सो द टू माइनस साइन इफ यू पुट हेयर x एंड माइनस टू एंड ओपन एक्सपेंड यूजिंग दिस फॉर्मूला यू विल गेट द सेम थिंग सिमिलरली फॉर दिस दिस इज द क्यूब ऑफ थ्री इफ वाई प्लस थ्री होल क्यूब यू विल गेट द सेम There also the two negative sign. So in this case, the y minus three whole cube. So by this way, you can guess. Actually, why I am telling this one, uh, this uh, a plus b whole cube, a minus b, because this was in class nine. Or छोड़े हुए तुम लोगों को काफी समय हो गया है, and you have not used here. Hey. So you can write, but you will write the formula the by using the a plus b whole cube, a minus b whole cube. A, this you can write y plus three whole cube upon y minus three whole cube. In every term having the cube, so what you will write? Taking cube root, not cube, cube root. Cube root means power one by three. If you multiply by power one by three, you will get. सिंपल x प्लस टू अपॉन एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस थ्री अपॉन वाई माइनस थ्री क्लियर यू हैव टू फाइंड द x अपॉन y व्हाट यू विल से वेदर यू विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई आर इफ अगेन यू विल अप्लाई द कंपोनेंट डो डिविडेंट डो यू विल अप्लाई अगेन कंपोनेंट डो टू मेक इट इजी तो अगर हम कंपोनेंट ऑफ डिविडेंट ऑफ फिर से लगाते हैं तो इट विल बी वेरी इजी तो अप्लाई अगेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ एंड डिविडेंट ऑफ तो x प्लस टू प्लस एक्स माइनस टू होल अपॉन x प्लस टू माइनस एक्स प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू वाई प्लस थ्री प्लस वाई माइनस थ्री Whole upon y plus three minus y plus three. This three cancel. This y cancel. This two cancel. This x cancelled. Now it is two x. This is four. It is two y. This is six. Two two is a four. Two two is a two three is a. By anything, any way you can cancel y by three. Now. You have to find the x upon y. So y here, here two here. So apply which property? Alter Nando. So directly you can write x upon y is equal to two upon three. This is the answer. So by this way you can get the answer because this is very easy and the question comes in the board examination. Such type of question.
and now the last one of this exercise 7.3 last one if a if x plus y upon ax plus by is equal to y plus z ay plus bz is equal to z plus x upon az plus bx so then each of these ratio is equal to 2 upon a plus b you have to show that each ratio equal to 2 upon a plus b means this ratio is also 2 upon a plus b this ratio also this ratio also unless x plus y plus z is equal to 0 ये दिया गया है unless मतलब ये नहीं होना चाहिए if it is then it may not be possible now how to show do you know the formula I told you the sum of each ratio is equal to sum of incident upon sum of consequent where the numerator added and denominator added the last probability of the component do and dividend do in earlier video I have uh, I explained so use the that property we know the property हम प्रॉपर्टी लिखे दे रहे x upon a is equal to y upon b is equal to z upon c is equal to x plus y plus z upon a plus b plus c this is the property तो use this property this is called sum of incident upon sum of consequent use this property and find the value so you can write i'm writing from here again x plus y upon ax plus by y plus z upon ay plus bz z plus x upon az plus bx is equal to x plus y plus y plus z plus z plus x whole upon ax plus by plus ay plus bz plus az and plus bx then this part you solve this is 2x plus y plus z and in the denominator if you factorize ax ay az in these three you can take common x plus y plus z plus b common y plus z plus x you can see see this b y b z b x so this one you will now again you can take common uh, you have to write this again the same thing up to here and is equal to i am writing here this part after this two x plus y plus z and x plus y plus z is common means factorize it you will have a plus b this part this part and that is why it is written the unless x plus y, x plus, y plus z is equal to 0 because it is in denominator if denominator is 0 so that you will get the infinity this is not the uh, this, you can say this is meaningless not defined so, this is zero. But it should not be zero. But it should not be zero. And you will have 2 upon a plus b. Means each ratio is equal to 2 upon a plus b. So, by this way, we end up this exercise. And uh, you, if you watch the all the videos of the ratio and proportion, you will get the sufficient knowledge about this chapter. And uh, you can do the well in the examination. Thank you. All the best.